blessings beautiful people um i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day um good morning um yeah yeah so i wanted to come on real quick i've i've done a video um like this before we're gonna call this part two um uh, because i want to elaborate the lord uh impressed on my heart a, a little something this morning so um so the video i did was ask and you shall receive um or i i think it was called you have not because you ask not and it's popping up right above you so if you haven't seen it click on it um check it out like it comment share it whatever um but this will be part two so this morning god was saying to me you know we have we, we don't have because we don't ask. And in that video, I was more so talking about, you know, things, uh, you know, God is, is at you, you. We don't we're afraid to ask him for things. And there are so many things that 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 God wants to do in us and through us and in our lives. But we don't ask for it. And not just things, not just, you know, money, a job, cars, you know, things, you know, he can give us that, too. Um but there are so many other things that 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 God wants to give to us um but we don't ask um we um we we're in a time where people, where we're desiring you know to know if God is is real you know i know there's people out there watching who are you know struggling to reconcile that i mean reconcile that god is real and they have real legitimate questions and i think sometimes we assume that it's not good to because we hear so often i've heard it you don't question god you don't you don't of course you do god said ask and you shall receive you have not because you ask not and not just asking for things but ask for wisdom ask for understanding i, I went into the bible um on the way to work and yeah I, on the way at the lights i was stop. okay that's neither here or there but yeah i i was looking up scriptures where people in the bible would ask god for things moses we all know moses um moses uh led the children of israel they went to pharaoh told him to let his people go we know about moses but moses asked god listen he said look i want to see you I, 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 listen, I need, I, I, I want to see your face. Like I want to, I've been talking to you. I've been meeting with you. I've been serving you. I want to see you. And the Lord said to him, you know, okay. Um, but if I, if, if I showed you my face, you, you would die. Like it, 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 it'll be too much for you. But, but here's what I'll do. I'll come down and I'll show you my backside. I'll let it pass before you. So God came down um, in a cloud in front of Moses, showed him his back, and as he passed by, it was the glory of God. See, Moses asked, and God gave. Another person in the Bible, Solomon. Solomon was the richest man, the most wisest man in the Bible. We all know about Solomon. He built the temple for God. Um, he was the wisest man richest man in the bible um and he asked god 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 appeared to him in a dream um and i believe this is uh first kings uh three one through fifteen he appeared to him in a dream and he said listen whatever you want in a dream by night whatever you want i'll give it so solomon replied to god and said i i want wisdom and God gave it. Solomon was the wisest man, the wisest man in the world um, during that time. And it was all because he asked God and he believed God to do it. So if you are struggling with things in your life, there's things in my life that I've asked God and he didn't give me an answer right away, but there are some things that he answered me right away. And there's some things he still get revealing to me. I, I was reading my Bible last night and I had wrote, I was reading john 3 um when it when it talks about nicodemus um asking god you know it, it, we know that you're a teacher and how how can these things be and so jesus response was very unique and i i i i i, I wrote and on a piece of paper and stuck it in 
in in that verse and i asked god how why did you respond this way to nicodemus uh inquiry his his inquiring why did you respond with this response and on last night as i'm reading it he began to reveal it um as i pressed into his word he began to reveal it but it was a question that i had i had wrote the question was fading like i had wrote this question maybe a year ago maybe even a year and a half ago and he's starting to reveal it but i asked and i believed in faith so i left it there knowing that at some point i don't know when he's going to answer me but i know he's going to answer me and i know sometimes we, we think man it, 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 my, my 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 thoughts and my questions are too small the things that i, I desire and i want are too small i don't want to bother god with that understand that god is he knows everything nothing is out of his control he knows everything and because he knows him everything you can ask him and he'll reveal it he'll give you revelation and understanding it may not be how you want it and when you want it sometimes i believe that god is not telling us things that we ask like when we ask i, I ask about things about my dad and why certain things happen and you know sometimes we ask why why people we've lost why why did they die or why did things why do things happen the way they do and sometimes we don't get an answer immediately because i believe in my heart that we aren't ready for the answer at that time and god knows that and if possibly he gave us that answer it can cause more damage in that time than it would if he gave it to us years 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 after um so ask god if you are struggling to understand if god is real ask, ask him to show himself to you ask him to reveal himself he he will reveal himself to you if you ask god will do if there's something i remember when i uh when i first started in my position there were some things i didn't know and I, I i sought holy spirit for wisdom on what to do and he began to reveal things to me in my job on what to do he knows all things there is nothing foreign there is nothing that he does not know he knows everything everything was made by him and through him and without him nothing is that is so for that very reason for that very fact that means he knows all things and you can go to him in confidence knowing that because you know all things, I know that you'll reveal whatever I'm asking. So ask God for some things. Ask him for wisdom. Ask him for understanding. Ask him for revelation. He'll give it. He is wanting to give it. He is sitting there waiting. With his, I, I envision God like this with his arms folded like, okay, what you going to ask me? There is nothing that you can ask that's too big or out of his realm. I remember God said to me, you ask him too small. All you're asking me for is too small. Like, come on, get me to to move or something. Ask me for something that that that. Yeah, there ain't nothing that that you can ask him that's gonna blow him back. But come on, put 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 God. I don't want to say put God to work, but put him to work. Ask for some things and do not be afraid. Believe that you will receive whatever you ask there is no special way there is no special person that can go to god you can go to god because of what jesus did jesus paid the price he died for the world so the world may know him so god wants you to know him and then you're asking you'll get to learn his nature in your pressing you'll get to learn him ask for what you want to know you know ask so i just i i wanted to just share that this is part two make sure you check out part one i love you guys i pray god's grace mercy peace be upon you as you go throughout your day be blessed talk to you later bye